All right, well, it's not even been a week and we burned through that whole stack. So we've got a, another stack here and uh, you know, it's it's been going okay. Um, I will say, is it worth it to burn these things? Man, I don't know, it uh, sure is a lot of time breaking these up. So this is basically what's left of that second load. So this is two full loads, pickup truck and trailer loads. Um, this is what's left after about 10 days of burning. Um, it did get cold last uh, few days I was burning. I, it was uh, down in the, in the teens at night. And so uh, I went through, through a, lot of this, a lot of this wood. Uh, but that's it, that's all I have left. So for two full weeks, it would have taken me three full loads of, uh, of wood. Uh, to make it of pallets to make it through two weeks. So there's a, a few ways that I found kind of to be the best, and I kind of showed a little bit of this in my in the, the first video uh, where I introduced you know uh, the the project here experiment here. But um, one of the best things I found is I, I have a power outlet out here, and I just grab my circular saw. And just like I've done in the past, I've got videos on breaking down pallets. Um, just ran the saw right down the edge right here, right down the other edge, flip it over, do the same thing. And so you're ended up with these you know, pieces in the middle. Uh, and then a lot of times I would cut it either down the middle right here on the two by four part or in two sections. So like here and here. Uh, and that works out pretty good, uh, but it's, it is rough on your saw. I mean, if you your circular saw, you're bound to hit a nail at some point. You know, there's nails in here sometimes you can't see. And so I use my old saw, the, the one I reconditioned. Um, another thing that uh, somebody suggested to me was uh, using my battery power chainsaw. And that works pretty good too. But it's not quite, uh, quite an elegant way to do it. And this thing, surprisingly, this thing cuts a lot better through tree limbs and logs than it does this stuff. I don't know why, um, just how the chain is. I think it's kind of a, a deep cut on these, these teeth. Um, but since I have my, my actual chainsaw back now, I'll show you how the real easiest way to do this if you have a chainsaw. So in the end, this is uh, what you're left with, a bunch of different pieces like that. Um, these sections on the side, these are pretty much ready to throw in there. Uh, stuff like this will go right in there. Um, these ones here, I'll try to take the center, uh, get that center two by four out, just break them apart and take the slats. Um, these slats are a little bit long, so I have to throw them in there on kind of an angle, but they'll fit. And these come apart pretty easily, so. Um, this stuff is, uh, a lot of this is pine, some of this is oak. This one here for sure is a hardwood of some sort, so probably oak. Um, this is an older one, but I tried to tried it a lot of different ways, but you know, the chainsaw works the best, but of course you don't have a chainsaw, which, you know, that was the case for me for most of the time I was doing this. I didn't have that, that chainsaw, and so um, it was, the circular saw was really the best option. A sawzall would probably work pretty good too. I've used that method in the past. Um, I have videos on different ways to take apart pallets that I can share with you guys. Uh, I'll put up in the card system there, so. And uh, my, my helper here. So anyway, um, you know, I tried an ax. I tried all different ways to break these things apart. Um, and uh, really, you really have to break them down as, as flat as possible. You know, if you throw too much stuff in there like this or like this, you know, with, with big pieces on there, you just end up, you can't get enough wood in there uh, to, to make it burn any length, good length of time. So you really got to stack that wood in there uh, as best as possible. 
these things burn very, very well, obviously. They, uh, they do burn quickly, but they burn very, very well. Um, this particular type of wood burner has a bunch of slots on the bottom all the way back, and then right underneath it is this ash drawer that goes all the way back. And that's where the air blows in and blows up through the fire. It works very, very well. What I found with there's so many nails is that the nails were getting clogged in the ash and all those vents, and I had to wait for the whole thing to burn down so I could get in there with a shovel and, and really try to get that stuff out of there. A lot of them were melted together um, into like chunks of, of, of nails, and um, it was kind of a mess to keep it clean. Uh, and just in that, just in that amount of time, I, I, I ended up generating a lot of ash. So I've got this little uh, kind of spot along our property line here. You'll hear the pigs in the background being annoyingly noisy. But uh, I just ended up dumping the ash over here. And a lot of you guys suggested a magnet. And probably what I'll do is I'll let this uh, ash just kind of wash away with the rain over the next you know, few months. And then I'll come in here uh, with a magnet and, and grab all those nails out of it. I don't want to leave them. Uh, this is along our kind of drive that goes out, you know, in from the property, uh, from the front to the back. Um, it's off to the side where nobody's going to drive over anything, but I don't want to leave a bunch of nails out here. So I want to make sure I get in and clean that up. But a magnet is a great idea um, to do that. But this, this whole thing of ash, this is a, a full trash can full, was just from those 10 days. I, it, it produced way more ash, um, plus all the nails. Uh, way more uh, waste than burning any type of regular wood. So to answer the question, is it really worth it to burn pallets? Um, this is the first time I've tried heating off of pallets 100%. And, you know, if there's one thing that my dad taught me um, growing up was that uh, you don't get something, you, you can't get something for nothing. And that's true with everything in life. Uh, and it's, it's no different with pallet wood. Pallet wood is free. Uh, you can find it anywhere. People are getting ready to burn it, thrown away. Uh, pallet wood is great for a lot of things, and I've built a lot of things with pallet wood. I'll put some videos up here of things that I've built, and uh, I love using it. But for burning, if you're heating a shop or something like that in a, in a you know inside um, little stove, and you're throwing some pallet wood in there while you're out working and stuff like that, I think that's a great use for pallets. I, I'm not convinced that it's worth it for heating in an outdoor wood burner. I, I barely ever made it through the night, when, uh, especially when it got cold. I mean, I, I was out here at midnight filling it and up at 6.30 or 7 in the morning and it still wasn't, uh, and it was you know, all burnt out. So there's no way you're gonna get a six hour burn even in a, wood, in a wood burner like this when it's cold out. In the warmer days, it was, it was all right, you know, I would fill it, I would have to be out here probably three or four times a day filling it, and uh, it did almost make it through the night, you know, the house stayed warm, but, uh, you know, so on warmer days, maybe if it's in the 40s and 50s, it's a great source, you know, during that time, but when it's cold, you know, I just don't think it's worth it. <laughs> um, dealing with the nails, dealing with the extra ash, uh, dealing with loading it way more often, dealing with breaking all the pallets down, uh, it's, it's a, you know, if I had to choose between pallets and wood, even, you know, even buying wood, I think it's, you know, logs or trees are, are much better to burn. So um, that's just my opinion, my experiment here. Uh, I didn't make it the full 10 days because I got my saw back, like I said, and um, <laughs> somebody blessed me. And I will, uh, I'll, I'll detail that in another video, but something, something really changed for me here. Um, some, some people in my family decided to uh, just, uh, just be awesome. So um, I'll, I'll share that with you guys later. But um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.